Hey guys, what I've got here today with me today is a Gigabyte 3080 Ti uh, Eagle OC and what I'll be doing is replacing the thermal pads on the memory modules with this Thermal Right Extreme Odyssey thermal pad and a MX4 thermal compound. To begin as always we'll begin by removing all the screws from the back plate. Uh, there's about nine or eight of those. Okay, the screws are all out now, so you had a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and I put them on the magnetic place order, just so I can remember where they go. Okay, gently pry open the cooler from the base, and there should be a couple of wires uh, attached, if you can see them there. And you'll have to take them off before you can get the whole block off. Once you've got the cooler off, uh, you can go ahead and clean all this up and then apply thermal pads to just the memory modules and then you can go ahead and replace these uh, four thermal pads here uh, and clean it up and reapply okay so I've applied the thermal pads to the VRAM and now I've also cleaned up the thermal compound off the GPU now I just have to reapply that okay so thermal compound has been applied now I'm just going to go ahead and put the cooler back on now I've just got to re-screw the screws back in and we're done. Okay, this is the base load core temp reading. So you got 27 degrees on the GPU and 32 on the memory junction temperature and 32 for the hotspot. Uh, let me put some load on it and then I'll show you what the temperatures look like after that. Okay, so I've just kicked off the stress test and now I've got my core temperature for my GPU at 51 degrees Celsius and my memory junction temperatures have improved a lot and they're currently sitting at 74 but this is only one minute in so I'll wait a few more minutes and let that climb to a stable level and give you a proper readout of the temperatures um, just for context previously this card was sitting at on this exact same test 110 degrees celsius on the memory junction temps and the GPU temp was around 59 so you can see the thermal pads really do make a pretty significant impact here and this is only replacing the thermal pads on the front of the card I didn't even check the back of the card okay I've let the test run now for about five or so minutes and you can see the core temps come up to 55 degrees celsius and the memory junction temps are stable at 80 degrees celsius I'm gonna call this one a success but not just yet I'll wait for an overnight run on this stress test and then I will be confident that everything worked well.